Welcome back my friends, this is episode 2 for season 1, we here have some first emails we're gonna go through, we see at the bottom we have some contract offer accepted, we have some updates on uh, scout and some reports for some players that we requested to see, looks like Terry Pervelt is the one I'm more convinced with of all these players, 63 overall, but that's what our center mates are, plus we need more center mid, we need more center mates, we need more mid players, Either short or the best part is very short as it is, so we can go in up to 6,000 for our first team player. <coughs> and then the goalkeeper as well, we can do here after as well. Then we accept the offer, the contract offers for Christos or Avadis are forward and 100 Chumas Fedor, our center mid, which is going to be our highest rate of mid. Then we have here, days later. Offer accepted for Pierre Sealed and Abogo, our goalkeeper. Basem Hafez and Joseph Mir Ballon. But just Mir Ballon, $20,000 a week is too much. We're going to go set Basem Hafez, our center back. And we're going to go ahead and reject Joseph Mir Ballon here because we're going to try and sign David Pavelka for our center. I mean, it's really low, really lower. But he's younger as well, so it's hopefully it's okay. I accepted the offer here for the short term loan, you know, because we get back and we want to try and set him off and sell. We accept the one year loan for Ruiz Rooney. And we see that Pabalka accepts his contract, so we will join the make him join the team. That was after that was the second contract. We rejected the first one for six thousand, we accepted the second one for seven thousand. We see our Bogo goalkeeping kicking because of a little bit of growth of the player to be scoring so we him as a first team player since Walton is on the one and I really don't want to train him since he's not going to stay at the team. Uh, here we're going to go over the squad report real quick just to see what players are on the team and any growth and how they're doing and their form and their morale and see which ones I can keep playing and which players I should actually play instead of the ones that are out of are my loanies, I want to really play them too much because uh, they're not going to stay in the squad for long. So we're here to get an offer for James Bittner, a 33 year old goalkeeper. We go in and we uh, just ask for $10,000 more, it's not a lot. But first guy report we get in is Lee Collins, 15 year old, potential of 89, Mika Dixon with a potential of 87. We're going like, to uh, go ahead and scan for one more month and see if their overall goes up. Hopefully their their range and their potential also goes uh, decreases. Let's see if it has a better potential, or, you know, have a better idea of where they're going to be at. And here we go with the first match against Knox County, one of the better teams in this league too. Knox County pretty have a pretty good decent team for this uh, league compared to our team. They have pretty decent array players and. I've used them in FIFA 16 when I had the PlayStation 3, where I got the PlayStation 4, and that's why we're using that to simulate most of the games, and I was able to get more more automatic to first place. Our player debuts we have as forward, to the average speed player, and Chumasero, Chumas Tiger, and then maybe, hopefully this player is going to be an impact for the squad, and that really makes the squad look like better, better rating, and you know, hopefully our small Greek forward player can score some goals and you know help us get the title for League Two and you know, have an automatic promotion to League One. You know, I know he's 28. You know, you still get like another two years, two seasons out of him. You can put myself in my, you know, next year, next season, or even once we get to the championship. And here's our lineup with the logo. Miller, Nelson, McCoy, Sawyer, Chimacero, Kerry, Simpson, Jervis, Wild, and Herodes. Here we go. First game. The first chance came to us in the uh, sixth minute. We have our Avidis coming with the ball. He centers for Jervis and the team they clear it. Second one, Snyders, which is a very quick player, beats our left back Soil, which is a third year old Soil. And we carry, they fall carry outside the box. And 
player gets a yellow card. However, this has a second chance for us in the 34th minute. He grabs the ball, cuts, shoots it, grabs the corner keeper. Here we have a pass to Christian across to Meller, and then he takes it down to Simpson. Simpson takes it, he passes it down to Carey. Carey cuts back inside, shoots with his right with his left foot, and the goalkeeper stops it, and we have a corner ball. We had the first corner of the game, and now nothing happened out of there. Here's the stuff for uh, halftime stats. You know, we had more shots, but we had more possession. Here we have on the left flank a uh, wild, one of the better players, taking some players on, and unfortunately, he hits, he hits the ball straight at the goalkeeper, not being able to score. Here we have Simpson in the 74th minute. We're trying to break the deadlock and have this car first goal. Simpson doesn't get a they get to shoot the ball the defense clears it. And that was it. There's a uh, my player ratings. And I think uh, Bo did a pretty good job, you know, pretty decent amount of saves. But unfortunately their goalkeeper had more saves and was able to stop our uh, forwards. We have five shots, shot more more shots on target. They beat us in possession. But you know I felt like we should have won that game. It was very tight, a lot of battle in the midfield. We have some some of the results for League Two. We're gonna go ahead and go to the catalog and get our star future star and hopefully we had a good player, you know, maybe hopefully you know, we get a good player in a good position in the middle or something that's gonna help us. And here we got the first growth of player, Baka goes from a sixty two rated player to sixty third. You know, our defense is growing better and better and hopefully, you know, I might have our players start going together and everything. Here we're going to go with their second match against uh, Rotherham away in the Capital One Cup. We go with our traditional home kit in a similar lineup, but instead we're going to put in Harvey who requested to play. And I forgot to show you guys the lineup, so I'm sorry for that. In the seventh minute, we had the first chance. Reed has it. So another of the players that came in for our good player, Chris Tazaravadi. He's playing instead. Remember the name? In the thirty minute, they had their first chance. It goes straight to a Bogo. A Bogo able to capture the ball. There's a. And from the Kings, we take the ball and retakes it and back to Harvey. And Harvey is able to spread it in for our first goal with the lead. And Reed gets the first goal for the club for the season. Not counting the international club. Something I really don't like is playing in the rain. It's very difficult for me to play in the rain. And I'm usually not able to play or put in <coughs> good matches because I feel like the passing is just not good, you know. And here they have the first chance, which the ball goes wide. So luckily for us, it is not even on, on target or near the post, and the logo just has to fall and fall. And then we don't have to touch it. You see here they dominate us on possession, where we have more shots on target. Therefore, I mean, I think it's very like well, but The 85th minute, which is for the second half, we get the ball to the crossbar to carry through carry. That was about it. In the 87th minute, we have Brunt. Brunt has his first chance that he came in to read, read to Provelka. Provelka puts it in against the post. And they, they cleared the ball. But that was it. It was a pretty you know, boring second half. Not many chances. A lot of that. A lot of balls lost in the middle. A lot of fighting. Be, uh, fighting the ball between the midfield. There was a lot of uh, the train in the midfield. Not, not many approaches to the area. I feel like I might keep playing with this lineup. I feel comfortable with this lineup. You know, we don't have that in the mid, so we have a couple forwards, but I mean, I can use the forward and the center attacking mid until we get more center mid. I really don't like throwing up too much players on the top. I don't like having it. So that'll be it for today's episode. Uh, for next episode, we're going to be playing our second game for the league. And hopefully, we get a good result. And thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like and uh, subscribe for more content.
Bye-bye.